All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, Spank the Monkey back again with another unboxing video of... Commander Master Set Boosters. So this just came out today. Um, yeah, just dropped today. Managed to pick up my uh, pre-orders. I got a set booster as well as two Commander um, uh, Collector booster boxes. Um, so I will open that in a succeeding video. Uh, I also did get um, the entire set for the um, Commander Precons, which I will also open maybe at a later time as I start to pick up those um, sets to, um, you know, um, play. Uh, but yeah, for now, we'll do this. All right, so this is the uh, set boosters, 24 packs, 15 cards each. Um, a lot of controversy on this one being overpriced and all and honestly I think it, it, the, the price is quite steep um, especially on the set booster uh, which I think is coming out to like almost uh, $3.99 or about um, $400 and the draft booster is about $100 less than that um, so yeah very expensive but there are a lot of goodies in here um, couple of chase cards that we're looking for um, I'm looking for uh, the, the, um, the Coria free spells to cast um, that particular cycle uh, such as uh, fierce guardianship deflecting swap can't get enough of those cards I'm also looking forward to things like doubling season um, was it uh, depth smothering back in here not too sure um, what else? Uh, the, the medallions, uh, definitely something that I would love to um, uh, pick up. And what else? Some of the things that I've seen. Um, well, anyway, we'll see what, what we get here. Anyway, so we have 24 packs of these lovely set boosters. I think these are made in um, Japan, maybe, because they have that little um, slot there be able to pull out. So what do we get here? Um, may contain cards from Commander Masters uh, 2 to 2 to 451, 622703. It was a combination of two to six cards of rarity, rare or higher, uh, and one art card. Also includes three to eight uncommons, four to eight common, and one land card. One non-art card and non-land card of any rarity is traditional foil. Foil, Borderless Mythic in 1% of boosters. Foil, Stamp, Signature, Art Card, replaces Art Card in 10% of set boosters. This card included 25% of set boosters. Right, so we're gonna see uh, a couple of, of uh, list cards here. Big hit for me, Jeweled Lotus. I had actually opened four boxes of Commander Legends and did not get a Jeweled Lotus. So maybe with this one I can get one. All right, let's get right to it. Uh, first one, here we go. Okay, so this is a Japanese pack. Let me try to open it the other way so that we don't have any spoilers here. Okay, nice art card. Is that Jin Gitaxius? Maybe? Okay, so let's put this guy over here. Alright, um, next we have a mountain. Put the land there. Okay, we have a Boardless Nadir's Nightblade. Okay, um... Yeah, I, I do actually use this in my Prosper deck. Um, so good upgrade for me. That's a borderless uh, treatment there. So Broken Wings. So let's put the borderless cards up here. Um, then Sky Snare Spider. So this is a full reprint set. So n no new cards here except for maybe if they're coming from the Commander Precon um, uh, decks. But I'm not sure, do they come out here? I think they do. Okay, so starting off with the uncommon body double, fact or fiction. Um, good solid cards here. Assault suit, what does this do? Four to cast. Uh, equip creature gains plus two plus two haste. Can't attack you or planeswalkers you control, can't be sacrificed. Main of each opponent's upkeep, you may have that there. Gain control of good creature until end of turn if you do untap it. Okay, so here we go. What do we get? Oh, so Rishkar's, Rishkar Pima Renegade. Okay. And let's see. Still a uncommon Cabal Patriarch. Alright, so we got like five 
uncommons there. And I think in my experience for opening um, set boosters, normally when you have a bunch of uncommons, they tend to have better cards in, the, in that particular uh, pack. So we have Sancha, Sleeper Agent. Okay. I think she's a, uh, there's some value here. Let's put the rare there. Next, we have Skype Claw. So this is an uh, equipment, five to cast, living weapon, feature gets one one. Um, when it deals a combat damage to a player, that player loses half their life rounded up. Okay, that's, that's scary. Okay, next one, what do we get? We get the Sapphire Medallion, nice. So just as I was saying, I was looking for uh, the medallions. Uh, good pickup for me, loving this. So we'll put that over here. And then we have a Foil Kodama's Reach. Okay, so it's Foil, we'll put that over here. Okay, and a Core Soldier Token. So let's put that there. Alrighty, so, oh, you know what, maybe we'll do it this way. Uh, the Borderless stuff here, Rare there, and then our Cool or Hero Files over there. Okay, next up. So, um, not too spicy, but we did get a medallion, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, nice art. Check that out. Champion's Helm. Oh, so this is a new art for Champion's Helm. I do like that card. I run that in my deck right now, so that's a... Uh, uh, okay, for the Boardless, we have Boardless Exsanguinate. Nice. Okay, so let's put that there. Again, I do run that in my Commander decks. So Vial of Dragonfire. Oops, let's put that over here. Okay. Letter of Acceptance. Filigree Attendant. Okay. And then Pilgrim's Eye. So maybe Uncommons now. Oh no, one more common. Thriving Heat. Oh, that's land, let's put that there. Thriving Moor, another common. Ooh, that's a... Uh, four, six Uncommons now. Uh, six Commons. And then for the uncommon, we have Havoc Jester. Okay, whenever you sacrifice for a minute, uh, it can deal one damage to any target. Next, we have Murder of Crows. Um, so it's a five to cast bird, four, four, flying. When another creature dies, you may draw a card. If you do discard a card. Okay, next we have Tabarax Hope's Demise. Okay, so it's three to cast, flying two, two. I think this came from Zendikar Rising, maybe? Um, has life, I think, as long as it has five or more counters on it. Whenever an another non-token creature you control dies, put a 1-1 counter on Tabrax. That creature is a cleric, you may draw a card if you lose one life. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. This would be Godo, Bandit Warlord, right? So another card that I do run in one of my decks. Uh, so this combos out with Helm of the Host. Alright, so let's put that there. Next, we have Obscuring Haze. Okay, this is one of those free to cast with your commander on the battlefield. I think this is the least valuable of them all. Uh, and actually, I do have a copy of this card myself since I had the pre-con in the core yet and had this. Okay, so a bit underwhelmed there, hoping it was a fierce guardianship. Um, by the way, did you see the borderless um, um, alt art version of FG? Wow. Amazing art there. I'd love to get a foil of that. Ooh, and for a mythic, we have Capture of Jingzhou. All right, so extra turn card. I know that prior to this, this was running for about, I don't know, maybe 400 bucks because it was only printed um, in the in that three portals, I think, um, set. Uh, but now it's come out again. I don't know what the value is would be of this, but I probably would be around the same as you know, uh, time warp is it, and, and those five to cast extra turn spells. So let's put that over there in the cool pile, and then we have a foil carrion grub. Okay, and a list card sadistic auger mage. I'm not sure what particular set this is. Three to cast human wizard. When it dies, each player puts a card from his or her hand on top of his or her library. All right. So list card, okay, let's just put the list card over here. Let me just make some space. Okay, you know what? Let's put that front and center and list card over there. 
Okay, let's move on. So first mythic so far in pack number two. Moving on to pack number three. Ooh, we have a nice foil stamped um, art card there. You know, I really do wonder if there ever will be any value for these art cards, to be honest. Uh, I, I really don't know or don't see where the value is in that. I hope they stop printing those damn art cards. Okay, so for Boardless, we have the Slimefoot Stowaway um, in that profile sort of art. Nice background, pink. Um, and then um, Drown and Sorrow, Read the Bones, Thorn of the Black Rose, Ill Listen Karyatid for the commons. For the uncommons, we have the Lightning Greaves. So this is a good value in the uncommon slot. Arcane Signet, another one with good value. Uh, this might be what, three bucks, four bucks? This one might be two bucks or something. And Reassembling Skeleton. Okay. Next, we have Inga Rune Eyes. All right, this is coming from the Kaldheim set. Nothing fancy there. But speaking of fancy, what do you get here? We get a Borderless Rejuvenating Springs. Nice, look at that. Okay. And speaking of fancy, do we have another fancy card? Ooh, another mythic, it's OG Heliod. Nice, okay. So not too much of value here, but still a cool card, second mythic. Um, and we have maybe another rare. We do, it's Jet Medallion, nice. So again, I'm collecting these medallions. I just have the Emerald Medallion so far and running in one of my decks. So so far in three packs, I've picked up two medallions. So that is pretty awesome. Okay. And the last one we have Avatar of Slaughter. So it's a eight to cast Avatar, eight, eight. All creatures have double strike and attack each combat if able. Okay, so that's basically pandemonium um, happening. So, hold on for a second. We have already opened one, two, um, three, four, right? Um, in rare or mythic. All right, so I think we have one more, maybe? No, it's not, okay, it's a foil driving block. Right, and a token. Okay, okay, so um, three rares, one mythic there in that pack, a borderless re rejuvenating springs, Heliod, Avatar, and uh, Jet Medallion. Okay, so there is some value here. And we got those pretty good, um, pretty good uh, com uncommons as well. All right, so we have this, uh, what is this? Uh, insurrection art, okay. So let's uh, do the borderless. Oh, so the land, the, the borderless art. Okay, we have a counter spell. Pretty neat. Okay, let's do the first three for the commons. Courage in Crisis, Renown, Weaponsmith, uh, Heart Piercer, Bow. Okay, and then maybe another four here. Okay, Thran Dynamo, Legion Vanguard, Rod Chambler, Wander Strike. Amazing about that. So, a common spectral searchlight. And one more. We have Thrix the Sudden Storm. So, I've not seen this card yet. I'm not sure where it came from. So, five to cast, four or five flash flying spells you cast with mana value five or greater cost, one less to cast. It can't be countered. Ooh. Okay. So, let's see what we get for this one. We get a Nemata Grove Garden. Okay, uncommon. Okay. Um, and then. This one is Jolrael Muonvuli Recluse. Okay, uh, so this is a 2 to cast, 1 2 legendary human druid. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 2 2 green cat creature token. Phase 6 of all turn creatures you control have base power and toughness XX, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Okay, and then moving on, we have Pure Steel Paladin. Okay, good card. Um, nothing to write home about. And lastly, for the foil, we have a foil borderless Thran Dynamo. That's a beautiful looking card there. Um, yeah, just a regular foil borderless. So for that, let us put it 
over here. Okay, another token. Okay, so that one's a little bit of a dud, I would say. Mm, nothing too interesting there. Maybe the strand animal um, would have a little value, but not much, I would say. Okay, so this guy would be Elvish Mystic. Okay, so here we go. Land, and then for the Borderless Path of Ancestry. Okay, um, and then let's do some commons. A braid, all that glitters, it's Ethel Braid, Dwarven Hammer. So dig these three on top, I do run them into my decks. Let's do another four over here. So Tusk Guard Captain, Snakeskin Veil. Okay, so we got a Felwar Stone, some value there, Thought Vessel. Uh, I think those cards are like two bucks each. And then we have a Tashar, Ancestors of Fossil. Um, in the uncommon slot. All right, here we go. Let's hope for some magic. By the way, speaking of which, I just would like to comment that the card stock is excellent. It has a nice thickness to it. The, the sheen is there. Um, looks premium, if, if I would say so. Um, okay, let's go. What this is? Oh, Gorklaw, another uncommon. So unfortunately, Gorklaw has been um, downshifted to an uncommon. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's not too popular with players or uh, they want to see increased usage of that. Then we have Kite Car Winds Fury. So this is a bird wizard forecast. 3-3 three, three with flying. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Sacrifice the spirit. Add one red mana. Okay. Next we have Inferno Titan. So 6 to cast giant 6-6. Six, six. Buff him up uh, with one red mana, gets plus one plus zero for another turn. And whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, it deals three damage divided as you choose among one, two, or three targets. Okay, so nothing spicy there. And then we get a foil decree of pain. So it's a rare foil. Um, eight to cast, destroy all creatures, they can't be regenerated. Draw a card for each creature, destroy this way. Interesting, okay, then you can cycle it. Um, for five, and when you cycle Decree of Pain, all creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Ooh, that's a very, um, I would say, uh, adaptable uh, board wipe there. So just another token. Okay, um, so we got stuck to two mythics, and we are down to pack number, what is this? Number six. Uh, and we are finishing up the first stack of eight cards. Um, so we have a nice sliver over there. Okay, so we'll take out the land. Boardless would be a frantic search. Nice, those boardless cards are looking lovely. Okay, so let's run out the commons first. Reverse engineer, exclude. Ooh, we get a borderless arcane signet. Um, uncommon. Okay, that's nice. Um, and then let's do this. Ashnod's Altar, good value, Burnished Heart, Witch's Cauldron, and Witching Well. And then maybe one or two more uh, uncommon. So we have Whisper, Blood Liturgist. Okay, let's do it to Cleric. Maybe one more uncommon. This would be, yes, Kazul, Tyrant of the Cliffs. Um, again, this is um, also in one of my decks. I think this is in my Ishin deck. But here we go, let's see, we get something special here. Yisan, the Wanderer Bard. So this is a three to cast, two, three human rogue bard. Pay three, tap it, put a burst counter on Yisan. Search your library for a creature card with mana value equal to the number of burst counters on Yisan. Put it into the battlefield and then shuffle. Okay. All right, here we go. What do we get? We get Oran Frostfang. Nice, so this is uh, one of those cards uh, that have not seen a lot of reprints. Still a pretty decent card though, I would say. Um, and dangerous on the board for sure. Okay, and last we have, ooh, a Mythic, it's Twilight Prophet. So, 4 to cast, 2-4 Vampire Cleric. I think this is, this is coming from uh, one of those uh, pirate, uh, uh, 
whatchamacallit, sets. So, Flying Ascend, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have the City's Blessing, reveal the top card of your library you put it in your hand. Each one loses X life and you gain X life for X is the card's mana value. Yeah, I think this is one of those um, ones where you have, um, whatchamacallit, those dinosaurs. Okay, so next we have a Foil Murder of Crows. And a list card, I believe, and it is Hour of Reckoning. So it's a rare 5 to 7 to cast with Convoke, destroy all non-token creatures. Okay, so a list card down there. Okay, pack number 7. Okay, so far, I would say that um, I'm a bit underwhelmed. No power cards coming in yet. Uh, no doubling season, no jeweled lotus, there is no, um, none of the other uh, chase cards here, none of the um, fantabulous all-in sort of uh, treatment cards, uh, but still hoping for the best, we are still in the first third, and we have a nice elvish mystic, borderless, okay, and then ghostly flicker, Warren Commons, Spike Shot Goblin, and Dragon Fodder. Okay, so we have Shirei Shizu's Caretaker, Cartographer's Hawk, Rampaging Brontodon, and then Surface Spawns, and the GG, Generous Gift to that Pelican. Okay, so let's see if we get anything special here. Okay, it's Captain Riley Vance, Uncommon. And this one. Ooh, yes, we do. We get a Mythic. Neheb the Eternal in that profile art treatment. Uh, so this guy, um, his Amonkhet set maybe? 5 to cast, 4-6 um, Zombie Minotaur Warrior with the flick 3. At the beginning of your post-combat main phase, add 1 red for each 1 life your opponents have lost this turn. Okay, so we get a nice mythic and I have to say the, the feel of the... Um, cards are very nice and then next we have Nekusar the Mind Razor 5 to cast 2-4 Zombie Wizard um, at the beginning of each player's draw step that player draws an additional card whenever Nekusar draws a card Nekusar the Man Mind Razor deals 1 damage to that player okay and then we have Awakening Sun's Avatar so board wipe uh, feature based board wipe uh, coming from one of those dino sets and a foil rot shambler okay and cat treasure token so last uh, pack for uh, this third I would say that we don't have any big hits yet but honestly I'm not too sure about the value of some of the cards we picked up um, still holding out hope for some of the big hits Okay, let's go with the borderless Kodama's Reach. Nice. Okay, so let's do four for the commons. Okay, nothing fancy there. Maybe another four for uncommons as well. Myriad Landscape, Real Quarry Tower. Okay, and then one more uncommon. Okay, it's Melek is a Paragon. So let's see what we get for this one. We get Audric Master Tactician basic bulk rare I suppose and then a blood spore thrinax um, so this is a four to cast lizard 2-2 two -two with devour one each creature you control enters the battlefield with addition x 1-1 one -one counters on it where x is the number of 1-1 one -one counters on blood spore thrinax interesting card definitely something that you can abuse okay one more card here mystic confluence so we got three rares in this one and for the foilo, we get a spike shot goblin. And we get an emblem uh, of Mrs. Mihilis of the Black Oak. Okay, um, so we're moving on to, well, you know what? Maybe let's mix it up. Let's pick it up from the right stack. So this is the um, second stack of eight from the set. I only have one set booster. Uh, unfortunately, that's the, what I can afford for now. So let's enjoy this one. So we got a foil uh, retro art um, plan. Oh, it's always nice. 
for the borderless. We get all that glitters. Okay. Um, and then we got a throbbing inspector. A throbbing inspector. Let's get more comments here. Correction, Gargantua, and Roger Crest, all in favor. Okay, and then maybe another four here. Okay. Frantic search sheet analysis there. Um, Palace Jailer, Skyline, Des Skyline Despot, and a Squee, Goblin Nabob, for the comments. Now, let's see if we get anything special here. Um, so we get Exper Experiment Kraj. Not seen this card before, so Simic. Six to cast, Ooze Mutant. Four six, uh, has all activated abilities of each other creature with a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Tap and put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature. Okay, next we have Azuri's Predation. So eight to cast sorcery. For each creature your opponents control, create a 4-4 green Phyrexian beast creature token. Each of those tokens fights a different one of those creatures. Cool, okay. Uh, and then in terms of value, one more extra planar lens. Yes, we have another mythic. Don't know what the value is of this card. Uh, so it's a artifact tree to cast with imprint when extra planar lens enters top. You may exile target land control. Number land with the same name as the exiled card is tapped for mana. Its controller adds one mana of any type that land produces. Okay, mm, could you? Flicker this and get like several stuff to imprint. And does that stack up? I don't know. One more here. Foil. Foil Elysian Karyatid. And we have a list card. A Sage Zombie from uh, Midnight Hunt. I think this is the double feature. Um, double feature card, yeah. Which I think that set um, wasn't so good, yeah. Okay, next up. So we did get a Mythic. Not what we were looking for, but still happy with that. Okay, we get nice land there. Okay, we get Kemba Ka Regent um, in the um, borderless fashion. Let's take this out for the commons. Uncommons over here. more okay. and let's get to the good stuff so we have Zahid Jin of the Lamp oh it's another uncommon all right we have Azami Lady of Scrolls um, five to cast human wizard zero two tap and untap wizard control draw a card right uh, next we have champion's Hell. okay um, we were just talking about this I do have this already um, love this card good for commander for sure and for the foil we have Baird steward of archive okay then we get this nice token okay moving on so we get this art card there don't know what that's supposed to be land here borderless card dread return okay, common so let's do maybe the first nine. Yeah, so the first three would be common suit. We get the borderless commander sphere. Okay. Uh, and then let's do this this way victimize Boreman. Uh, and then some commons there. Another uncommon here. And then we get a Meron clan of Neltoth. Um, I, I was actually building, or I, I have built a Golgari deck with Dina as my commander, and I actually was looking at adding Marin um, to monetize the sacks that I'm doing there. So, good pickup for me. I definitely will go into my commander uh, deck. Next, we have Angelic Field Marshal. So, it's a 3 3 Flying Angel. Uh, four to cast with Lieutenant Snows control your commander. Angelic Field Marshal gets 2 2 and features you control have vigilance. Okay, so it's a good buff. Uh, so far, we've gotten a lot of these um, bulk mythics, if that's what you can call them. Uh, nothing flashy so far. I'm hoping that we can turn that around with this one. It is Pearl Medallion. Nice. So we have three medallions. 
already from that cycle and for the foil we have a foil elvish mystic okay so we are approaching half of the um box i would have to say that i am not yet seeing the big hits none of the big hits yet none of the like uber value that uh, you can find in the set uh, I'm, op I'm only opening one set booster, so I'm really hoping that we can get some of those nice chase cards. Uh, so here's to, um, you know, wishing us ourselves some luck. Okay, so we get Faithless Looting in Borderless. Let's get through the commons here. Uncommon, so Danitha, Boyle's Coordinate, Priest of the Blood Rite, Fat Razor of Ulamog. Okay, gutter snipe. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. No whammies. We get oh, another uncommon. Rhinolin, the moon kraken. All right, here we go. Here we go. We get Sakiko, mother of summer. So what does this do? It's six to cast, three three snake shaman. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, add that much green mana until end of turn. You don't lose this mana. Steps and phases end. All right. Next up, we have the Ur Dragon. Nice, we finally have a good Mythic. I think this is also one of those chase cards. Uh, not that high on the list, but still one of those nice cards that we're looking for. Uh, it's a Mythic, Wooberg, Fortecast, 1010 Dragon Avatar with Eminence, as long as the Ur Dragon is in command zone or on the battlefield, other dragon spells you cast cost one less to cast. Flying, whenever one or more dragons you control attack, draw that many cards then you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield so nice we have uh, the penultimate rule bird commander so good pick up for us uh, that's mythic number five so far and we've gone through half of the box so far and then we have tooth and nail um so this is sorcery seven to cast you can choose one either search your library for up to two creature cards put them in your hand or put up to two creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield with entwine Okay, and for the foil, we have a ooh, Grenzo Havoc Razor. Um, so it's a 2 to cast Goblin Rogue 2 2. Whenever a creature you control heals, combat damage for player, choose one. Go target creature that player controls. Exile top card of the player's library. Upon end turn, you may cast that card. And you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. Okay, so let's put that over there in the foil. Okay, so we have an Ur Dragon. Okay, things are looking up. I hope we can go from strength to strength uh, and get that Jewel Lotus or that Fierce Guardianship. Deflecting Swag would be nice too. Okay, so it's weird. The art cards are like, you know, reverse um, as in terms of the orientation to the rest of the cards. Okay, so land down there. Borderless here, fact for fiction. Very nice art. So let's do nine. Yeah, let's do ten. Okay, so for ten we have uh, Hannah Ships and Navigator, a rare. Um, all right, we have I I Ariel, Loyal Unicorn, Loyal Drake, and then a bunch of uh, commons here. Okay, so we have one rare so far, uh, potentially two more with rare or greater. Uh, we have Boom Pile, okay, uh, board wipe, flipping a coin, uh, bulk rare, <laughs> I would say. Next, can you give us a nice mythic? No, it's inspiring statuary, artifact, three to cast, non artifact spells to cast, half improvise. Okay, and then for the foil, we get a Vedaleth the Ancient. Right. Okay, so let's move on. Um, Alright, so I'm taking a little bit of time opening this stuff because I'm opening it in the reverse so as not to spoil anything for this uh, pack opening experience. Hope you guys are liking this one. Okay, so this one is Neheb, right? Which we, we picked up earlier. Okay, so land down there. 
Cordless Path Exile. Oh, this is nice. This is a very nice thing. And look at that. In Japanese inspired story. Uh, and you have a monster over there getting banished from existence. Okay, so let's take out the eight cards. Beard Golem, Hero's Blade. Okay, and then we have a bunch of lands. Plus commons. Another uncommon here, Adim. All right, here we go. What we get? Oh, another uncommon, okay. Um, and let's do a Sapphire Skyblade. Sky's Blade. Okay, seven to cast Angel, seven, seven. You may pay white and tap four and tap creatures to control uh, with flying rather than pay the spell. Flying, life life, other creatures to control have flying. With flying, have indestructible. Okay, and let's open the other one. Undergrowth Stadium. Okay. So just for that. Okay, and for the foil, we have Spectral Grasp. And we have a list card again, and it would be Sacred Nessa from Alliance, uh, I think, right? Uh, that particular set. Um, it's interesting because I had been playing Magic uh, when it first came out in 1912. Uh, around 94, 95, uh, it played up until around 96, 97, um, and then stopped playing before I picked it up back in 2021 20, or thereabouts. So almost 25 years. Uh, nice to see some of the older cards that I uh, had played with coming out um, still in play. Okay, so th that was a bit of a dud. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, still not too um, happy with the big hits that we have, which we only got the Earth Dragon, I think. Right, so, oh, nice foil land there. Boardless, we get a generous gift. Check out that elephant. Pretty nice, pretty generous, I would say. Um, all right, so let's do the first nine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have Gisela down there, and then Akiri. Okay, and then a bunch of comments down there. Okay, so we have Gisela. We have Deflecting Swat, nice! Finally, one of those um, Ikoria free to cast commander spells. Uh, love this card. This came out in one of my favorite commander pre cons, uh, the Lightning Bus himself, Calamax. Um, yeah, good pickup. Finally, some value there in the rare slot. Good thing they didn't make this into um, Mythic, right? And, and, and I'll just take it too hard to get these cards, and these are. Commander staples, so finally uh, they're starting to um, do some good reprints to make that more accessible. Then we have a nice Wrath of God. Okay. So basic Wrath of God there, and for the foil, we have a reverse engineer. Okay. So one okay hit so far. Um, on the rare slot, that would be a deflecting swat. Um, I have two of them already, but will be an auto include in any red deck, especially if you are slinging spells. Okay, another foil island. These are lovely looking foil retro art plants. Okay, so let's take out the first nine. Okay. So these are the uncommons. And these are the comments here and we have a borderless command tower right so maybe another uncommon here yes Kemba power regen again so for the rare what do we get we have Galta primal hunger okay finally so this is like a double master pack right there's like two two um, guaranteed rare uh, cards so disrupt the forum for the cast go to all features you don't control a uh, nice way to mess up the uh, board state and meteoric mace. The foil um, versions versions of these cards are actually they have a really nice sheen to it and again good card stock. So you have a rat and a zombie. Okay, so we're down to our last stack. So far, no jewel lotus, no fierce guardianship, no Eldrazi's or any of those sorts. Um, hopefully we can 
pick up the best cards in this particular stack. So we have Godo for the art card, land again. Uh, for the borderless, we have Shirei Shizo's Caretaker. It's very nice. Um, card stock I have to say. So let's do nine again. Okay, here we go. So we have Judith, Beanstalk Giant, Hunter's Insight, and then a couple of commons. So for the cool cards, we have uh, Piana. Okay, it's a um, uncommon. So we have at least two. Oh, we have a list card there, I think. So we have Yuriko, the Tiger Shadow. This I think was a pretty good commander before, but has been reprinted to hell. Uh, and then we have Fairy Artisans. So Fairy Artificer for to cast two to with flying whenever non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control. Create a token that's a copy of that creature except it's an artifact condition to its other types. Then exile all other tokens created with fairy artisans. Okay. For the foil, we have Kozilek. Predator, and for the list card, it's a Bog Wraith from M10. Okay, so far we have five uh, list cards. So if it comes out, 25% um, of boosters, so 24 divided by 4, and uh, that should be 6, so one more I think. Uh, one more list card that we're expecting. Okay, so we're down to our last seven packs. Still no jeweled lotus, unfortunately. Okay, so swap there, borderless, we get all that glitters. Again, not so glitterful. Um, doing nine cards here. Okay, we have Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro, Rogue's Passage, Furious Rise, okay, Scourge, and four other ones there. We have Azusa, Lost But Seeking. Um, this is always a good, pretty strong card, I would say. Um, and then we have Grand Abolisher. Okay, I think this is a card that I don't have that I've been trying to get. So happy that this is now uh, in my collection. Uh, we have one more card here of note that would be Vault of Champions. All right, and, uh, let's put that over there in the land. Yeah. And for the foil, we have Subira Tulziti Caravaneer or, or Caravaner. Okay, and we get a token. Okay, now to the last six packs. Again, none of the major hits. Um, I'm hoping to see some more value from this set. I have not seen that so far. Okay. Oh, nice foil forest there. Nice. Uh, what do you call this? Um, um, retro frame card. Okay, for the boardless, we have Reality Shift. Then let's do nine here. Oh boy, there you go! <laughs> Hello, Fierce Guardianship, Borderless. That, that's what I was saying earlier. Look at that art. That is some beautiful art right there. I think that is, um, ooh, what's your name? Um, I forget now, but check that out. Check that out. Yeah. I'm happy to have gotten this one. This is pretty good. Okay, so I think we can just throw the rest of the pack in the, in the bin, but nothing here um, of note. Okay, so we start off that uh, rare slot um, with the Fierce Guardianship uh, itself. Uh, we have Carador. Oh, so let's put this in the pool pile over here. Uh, so Carador Ghost Chieftain. Uh, all right. Then we have Song of the Dryads. Okay. Serviceable there. And one more notable card that would be Flawless Maneuver. So, two cards from the Ikoria free to cast um, cycle. So, not bad, not bad at all. So, that was a very 
Very good pack. And for the foil, we have a shelter. Okay, a little bit of a let down there, but still very happy. Look at this. Oh my god, look at that. That's a beautiful card. I, I wish it was foil. That would have been fantastic. But I'll take this any day for sure. Whew. Okay, so a little bit of uh, steam there. Uh, can we keep it up? I hope so. I mean, we're just down to the last uh, five packs now. Um, okay, and we have another fate, faceless thing there. Let's do next nine here. Okay, nothing of note. Okay, that's uh, five um, uncommon. So does that mean we'll get something good? Okay. Let's see, an Eldrazi maybe, another, uh, perhaps another uh, medallion. What do you get? Oh, we did get an Eldrazi. We got Kozilek the Great Distortion. Wow, good call. So it's a mythic. Um, yeah, 12-12, 10 12, to cast. When cast a spell, if you have fewer than seven cards in hand, draw a card equal to the difference. You got Minache and discard card in mana value X, counter target spell with mana value X. Wow, okay, so we got a nice Eldrazi there. Um, good call. Uh, another one we have, Arachnogenesis. So I, I was watching, um, I think, the video of um, uh, the prop, and he was saying that this is one of those nice uh, reprints. Uh, so it's an instant three to cast. Create X, one, two green spider creature tokens with reach, where X is number of creatures attacking you. Prevent all combat damage, that would be dealt this turn by non-spider creatures. So it's uh, a fog, but at the same time, token generator. So this is actually a very, very good card, especially for those token matter decks. Okay, another card of value here. What would it be? Decree of Pain. Okay, we've got this already. And then for the foil, a Crosan Tusker. Okay, and token there. Right, so last four packs. Let's do this, okay. So we have finally picked up some steam. We got the Fierce Guardianship, Kozilek, Eldrazi on the next pack. A um, couple of good prayers there, like Arachnogenesis. Um, so let's see what we'll get on this one. We get a nice Vorta Soaring. Oh wow, that is really lovely art there. Uh, so one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine um, worlds. So I guess this includes Pluto, and obviously that would be the Sun, the Sol ring. Okay, um, let us do next nine there. Okay, we got a path exile return to dust. Okay, here we go. What do we get? We get the Gaunti, okay, in common. Uh, and then we have a Mizix of the Is Magnus. Nothing to write home about. And last card of value, we have Balefire Dragon, a mythic. Nice. So seven to cast Dragon 6-6 six, six, with flying whenever Balefire Dragon uh, deals combat damage. Player deals that much damage to each creature that player controls. Okay. And for the foil, we have a foil borderless red return. Okay, last three packs here. So we got another mythic bear, Balefire Dragon. Does that actually carry any value? Uh, yeah, do let me know in the comments what you think so far, how we're doing. Um, but yeah, at least the Fierce Guardianship made my day. Okay, so. Let's start off with the land card here. And for the borderless, another commander sphere. Let's take out the next nine. Okay, so nothing interesting here. Okay, so here we go. We get Endrick Sar, Master Breeder. All right. Next, please, a mythic, maybe? We get Stone Hoof Chieftain, so it's set on 8 to cast Centaur Warrior, 8 8 with Trample and Indestructible. When another creature you control attacks, it gains Trample and is indestructible until end of turn. Wow. 
pretty powerful card. Very, very powerful. Okay. And last card of value is Evacuation. So five cats instant return all creatures to their owner's hand. Okay, and then we get a Foil Palace Jailer. Last two packs of the box. Okay. So, we get a Borderless... Uh, sorry, no, we get a signed art card of Micaeus, if I recall correctly. Alright, so here we go. Island Borderless is Tatiova in the profile sort of treatment. Let's take out the next nine here. Okay, so we have Mohu, Sanguinate, Dark Mace, Fiend Flash, Fiend Lash, and then a couple of um, commons over there and lands. Okay, so here we go. Come on, baby. We get a Balan Wandering Knight, Cat Knight those cat lovers um, and then what we get storm surge kraken okay another card of value treasure nabber okay and for the foil we have vial of dragon fire okay down to the last pack i don't know if we'll still get another mythic here but maybe one more medallion i think we're expecting a uh, list card too. Right, I think we only have five so far. Yeah, I think this is uh, Yuriko. Yeah. So, land here, foil. Okay, another dread return from the borderless. Um, let's do the first eight. Okay. Command tower, okay, it lands there. Okay, this is uh, uncommon, maybe? Yeah, Yeheni. All right, come on, baby. Let's get the Jewel Lotus. No, Promocratis. Okay, that's a bit of a letdown. It was an uncommon. So we only have two cards really value. Oh, and we have a list card there. Um, Jewel Lotus. No, we get the Fairy. Okay. And Savine's Reclamation. Okay, serviceable bears. For the foil, it is an Azami Lady of Scrolls, the foil. And for the list card, we have a Mass Polymorph in Rare. Okay, so let's just do a quick review of the cards um, for the Borderless uh, treatment. Um, of note, I, I do like that Soul Ring. Uh, we, you know, for me, the mother load here was the fierce guardianship. I would have loved to have gotten, um, how would you call this, um, doubling season. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. Um, Generous gift, path exile, all serviceable cards, elvish mystic, commander spear. So these are all pretty good cards. Damas reach, frantic search, arcane signet. Yeah, we got a nice foil. Um, Thran dynamo, rejuvenating spring there. Sanguinate in the Deer's Night Blade. Um, yeah, you, those are all serviceable cards for me. Um, for the foils, um, we did get, I think, a Zami for the rare. Um, what else do we have here? Grenzo Havoc Razor for another foil rare and Decree of Pain. Um, for the rares, uh, actually, there's a lot of serviceable ones here. We get the Fecking Swat. So a lot of these are actually pretty good and will definitely go into the decks that I am running. Arachnogenesis, I think that's a very powerful card to follow. It's going for Song of Dryads, maybe so so. Grand Abolisher for sure, Azusa, yeah. Um, Galta, Rath Deflecting Swat, nice to have. We got a couple of angels here, Gisela, Sephara. Um, what else we got? Oh, we got three medallions if I recall correctly. Marin's going to go into one of my um, Bulgari decks. Uh, what else we have? Uh, Orange Frost Fang, yeah, pretty good. Um, and then so the medallions, it's Green Haze. There we go. And then for the list cards, Mass Polymorph in the rare. Um, and really, that's it. Our Reckoning, not so much uh, interest there. For the Mythics, though, 
Bale Fire Dragon, Puzzlek, Ur Dragon, Extra Planar Lens, Neheb, Twilight Prophet, Heliod, and Capture of Jingzhou. So that's eight mythics. Okay, so what I think so far, um, definitely a lot of fun opening this particular uh, set. But is it worth it for $400? Uh, probably not. If, if you get like Fierce Guardianship, Jewel Lotus, Doubling Season, maybe one more card about $50. Uh, yeah, maybe um, those four cards can take care of half the cost. But there is value even in the uncommon slot, but I don't think that it would be worth buying um, for at $400. If you can get it on a discount at $300, you might as well get it. Or just buy the draft booster, uh, booster box that might be um, uh, lower rates on the rares, but at least comparable. Um, so that might be a better choice. Okay, thanks for joining this very special unboxing of the much-awaited Commander Masters set booster. I do have um, some um, collector boosters to open, so I'll catch you on that one. So I'll see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.